If you know, you know. And if you don't, you should. Stick around to hear about this savory, sweet, smoky, complex, and sought-after sauce. I passed up on this sauce last year, and boy was that a mistake. Hey y'all, Thomas here, bringing you another concise hot sauce review. And uh, for those new to my addiction hot sauce reviews, please subscribe, like, comment with the sauce you'd like to see discussed. Today we'll be reviewing Dragon's Isle Blood from the Bomb Knobs. All right, what a great local sauce this is. Just made up the road from where I am and really looking forward to this. This is a sauce that is made seasonally, small batches, and once it sells out, you have to put yourself on a waiting list for the next batch next year. And you can find the link to the Bomb Nom site in the description below. Let's go ahead and start with the spoonful. Man, sauce is so nice and thick coming out. Let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Now that, yeah, is so wonderfully balanced, so smoky, fruity. It's got great depth, wonderful flavor, and the heat. It's just right there in the background. Um, the sauce is packed with fruit and citrus. You've got red dragon fruit, blend of orange and pineapple juices, crushed pineapples. And the peppers listed in the ingredients are smoked scotch bonnets and a hatch chili powder. Man, so good. On the website, they have this to say about Dragon's Blood Isle. It's a seasonal small batch gourmet hot sauce made with beautiful fuchsia dragon fruit, smoked chocolate scotch bonnet peppers, frothy red ale, rich brown sugar, and 10 other secret ingredients. This sauce is smoky, spicy, sweet sauce, and pairs well with barbecue pork, roast chicken, soft cheese, pasta, and more. Cassandra Cara, the purveyor of culinary rebellion of bomb noms, has been providing prepared meals since 2013 in the spring Tomball and Woodlands area. Besides this phenomenal hot sauce, she strives to provide fresh, low-carb meals as well as, as other low-carb food items as bone broth and seasonings, as well as jerky. Come interact with a great Facebook group. Do you even sauce, bro? This is where she can be found. I put this on a chicken sandwich and the smoky fruity flavor came through and added just a pinch of heat. This dragon's blood aisle is made to be put on and enhance lightly flavored foods and dishes that'll bring out the subtle complexity of the sauce. I would also highly recommend putting this over just softened cream cheese out with some crackers as an appetizer. That would go over really well. I like hearing from y'all. Let me know in the comments what you've had this sauce on, if you've had this sauce and what you think it would go good with. It's now time to talk about heat. Dragon's Blood Isle comes in at a, mm, yeah, I would, about a mid. I would put it like specifically directly at a mid mild heat level. So please note though, that I do rate uh, according to my tolerance levels. So what I consider medium to high mild, others may consider hotter than medium. 
For more concise hot sauce reviews, please remember to subscribe, like, and click that notification bell. What's your favorite sauce? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll bring you another fiery review soon.